Good evening, this is Jan. I'm back in my kitchen and I'm gonna be cooking one of my favorite power trees, favorite game, that is pheasant. Just look at these beautiful pheasant fillets. I'm gonna season them in a moment, but first up are the vegetables. What I got here are uh, parsnips. Some centuries back they were uh, eaten a lot by the population of Europe until the introduction of the potato. Parsnips fell a little bit out of grace, but now they're coming back on menus in uh, exclusive restaurants. What I'm gonna do first is peel them like this. Actually, these parsnips are uh, white carrots, the family from carrots. The roots, you cut off the tips, these are bitter, and then you cut them into like same size pieces. Gonna use one more small one. By the way, you can eat it uh, just like this, raw. Kind of tastes like carrot. Even better than carrot. So then here I got like. 300 grams of parsnips. The little package was like 500 grams, so that must be quite enough. Now, the other important vegetable I'm gonna use is zucchini, also known as courgette. This is just the right amount. And I cut it also in like more or less same size pieces. The next step, of course, the main ingredient, pheasant fillet. I'm gonna season this. A little bit of kosher salt. Not too much, I don't want it to be too salty. Just about enough. Black pepper. Quite a lot as always. I'm very fond of black pepper. Then rosemary. Which goes very well with pheasant. Just like it goes very well with chicken. And thyme. One of my favorite herbs, always. And then of course, both sides. Extra vierge olive oil into a hot pan. A little bit of butter as well. And in goes the pepper. And then uh, don't cook it too long, like maximum of two minutes per side, maybe even less.
Then we just flip them over. And they are ready already. So place them on the board and leave them to rest for like five minutes, something like that. And then of course the vegetables. I'm gonna season them a little bit with sea salt. Black pepper, of course. And parsley. For a herbal note. Plus also a very important a little bit of balsamic vinegar for extra flavor for acidity and then I almost forgot to put black olives which are a very nice wood pheasant so indigo So with my pheasant fillet I will be enjoying this Pinot Blanc, which is a very simple wine, but it combines well with poultry, with chicken, with pheasant, with all kinds of uh, poultry, basically. So, back to the dish. Mm. Now that meat is lean. Cooked medium. Medium to well done actually. Yeah. Hmm. Put lots of black pepper in there, but I don't taste it that much. But yeah, well, it's okay anyway. Then the parsnip. That is a beautiful vegetable. These parsnips are very rooty. And they got a firm structure. Zucchini with the black olive. Mm. Mm. This is good, this is tasty. Perfect with a Pinot Blanc. I simply love that fashion stuff. 
this is a poultry so lean so uh, tender so full of flavor if you um, combine it with the right spices and herbs and vegetables absolutely perfect thank you for watching this video i see you in the next one and remember keep on enjoying your food like i do and your wine